Hey, what's up? I'm sure you know this already, but the general education that most people get kind of sucks. Like the school system, it's not very helpful. Sure, they teach you math, but remember back in the day when they used to tell us, oh, you won't have a calculator all the time. You better learn this long division. Uh, they teach you how to read. Well, back in the day, most people knew how to read. Nowadays, reading is totally dumb. That's why you're watching this, right? Beyond that, the, the education they gave you in school systems and, you know, the default education that you get does not actually prepare you for real life. If it did, I wouldn't have been 127 pounds in the first fucking grade. Like, I didn't know about nutrition. My parents didn't know about that. The, the default education people get is not helpful for real life. They don't teach you about nutrition in school. Not really. They don't teach you about finances in school. Nobody knows how, how to do their taxes from school. They have to figure that out themselves. Most people find this out the hard way, myself included. And a big journey I had to go through was with my own fitness. I didn't know what was happening. I had to, <laughs> gym class didn't help. They just say, hey, get on two teams and play this sport. Do push-ups because of the presidential physical fitness exam. I don't know why they call it that. I think the last president who could do a push-up was Teddy Roosevelt something but unless you go out of your way you're probably not going to learn the stuff that you need to learn to go through life or to you know be successful in any way whatsoever and again with my fitness i had to learn all this stuff on my own gym class didn't help me i had to go do my own research and after i lost a bunch of weight i became a personal trainer now that process i went through the exam and the study curriculum for the National Academy of Sports Medicine certification, NASM. Now I learned a bunch of stuff there and I thought, oh man, when I become a personal trainer, all this will come into play. All this will be helpful. In real life, honestly, I want to say one page of that entire textbook was actually helpful for me when I, <laughs> when I got my first job at Blink Fitness. That was, uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was an eye opening experience for me. I went through like hundreds of pages, passed an exam, started my first job, and I felt almost just as lost as I, as I would have if I never touched the textbook. Because in real life, yes, periodization and the difference between strength and power can be helpful for certain clients, but most people who need personal trainers are not athletes. They don't give a fuck about any of that stuff. And what do you know, the textbook from NASA didn't really tell you, hey, if this person comes in with this very basic specific goal, how do you help? That open-ended question is not really addressed in the learning material. So as a result, my first 11 months of being a trainer was horrendous, I think. It was uh, not good. I knew how to work on myself. I Somewhat. I was treating myself as if I were a bodybuilding client, just doing muscle groups and blah, blah, blah. Not, not understanding the underlying reasons why I would do these certain patterns or these certain exercises. Speaking of patterns, you should check the link in the description. There's uh, some stuff that can help you learn these patterns. You don't have to fuck around like a bodybuilder if you don't want to. Because while bodybuilding is cool, uh, most people don't need that. They just need a, a couple of compound movements and they're good. But that's not how it goes. But that's how I was treating my clients. I was just, okay, we're, we're doing this bodybuilding style. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna do biceps today and uh, legs, uh, hands. Yeah, just do that. I mean, here's the thing. If that person is eating less and they're doing all that stuff that can work for you, but it's not ideal. And the, the main issue was I wasn't understanding why I was doing that. So it was essentially trial and error and I got no help from the gym whatsoever. They just. First day, I was, they were like, all right, just go out, try to get some clients. I'm like, oh, there's nothing, no onboarding, no nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. So that was a bit tough. Again, all I had was this textbook knowledge, which as we know in real life, it's not very applicable. So I basically floundered for 11 months and somewhat figuring out what people, you know, what, what gave people value and got certain results, but. It wasn't until I went over to Equinox that I actually learned a lot of stuff. Because there, the at Equinox, they gave you, I know this sounds like an ad for Equinox, but I do appreciate their education opportunities. I don't appreciate their management style. That's what they believe. But their opportunities for education are 
fantastic. Honestly, they have just experts coming in all the time. You get to attend extra workshops all you want. They even force you guys, they force the trainers to learn certain things for certain workshops. So, you know, at Equash, you have to have a certain level of, you know, fitness knowledge, exercise science. And while I was over there, you know, all this knowledge coming in was very encouraging for me. I was thinking, oh man, I should learn on my own too. And that's what was also really helpful. I went to paid workshops. I studied on my own time, learned about exercise on my own time. Because again, if you're just sticking with the default education, it'll be somewhat helpful, right? But you have to, you have to take it into your own hands. You have to take your education as your responsibility and you have to learn things because if you don't no one else is going to help you the default education is just meant to kind of funnel you into a place where you are giving money to someone else or making money for someone else that's it there's no other benefit that you're going to get if you follow the general education so you have to go out of your way if you want that extra knowledge that useful knowledge and a big part of why you have to go and do this yourself is because a lot of knowledge, especially in terms of science and fitness, it, it can change. Science can change. That's the whole point of science. You constantly update what you, what you know about reality. So if you haven't, you know, looked into anything into a particular subject for 15 years, what you know is mostly probably okay, but there's going to be a lot of it that's either inefficient or just straight up wrong. So you owe it to yourself if you care about fitness or any other kind of subject that you, you know, you keep up, you keep up with the news, you keep up with the new studies, new research, all that kind of stuff. Because if you don't, again, you just go on that path. You're not going to know enough to, you're not, you're not, the knowledge you have is not going to be helpful for you, or at least not as helpful as it could be. So anyway, long story short, studying for the NASA certification and getting that was basically useless. And it only looked real nice on a resume. That's pretty much all it's for these days. The actual education I got was jack shit, pretty much. So. Anyway, if you want some education, check the links in the description. Sign up for my fucking email. Uh, if you want some more advice, <laughs> subscribe. You do not. Bye.